There's a breakthrough in the fight to give a local teenager access to an expensive drug under the pharmaceutical benefit scheme. While the drug to combat a rare blood disease has been approved, for some patients, like Bianca Scott, it may not be enough. Bianca Scott is the brave young teen whose fight captured the hearts of many. It would mean so much to me to live a normal life. Today, she's one step closer to that wish. Wow, me and my family, we were so excited, yet, you know, we're still very cautious. The drug Celeris she needs to combat her rare disease was today PBS approved by Federal Cabinet. But it's a bittersweet victory. I'm so excited for the newly diagnosed AHUS sufferers who will now have the quality of life that unfortunately I, I don't have. While Bianca and her mum are thrilled with the decision, it isn't all positive. The subsidy only covers treatment for one year. The advisory committee says there's no data to support lifelong treatment. If we take her off Solaris, she'll, she won't have kidneys. Bianca will never be able to get a kidney transplant unless Solaris is long term. Manufacturer Alexion says it's disappointed the government's placing time constraints on those who need the drug and has offered ongoing cost cutting on the proviso the government leaves the critical treatment decisions to the physician and patient. It is impossible to put one rule that's going to cover a whole merit of people that are going to be potentially at high risk. Emma O'Rourke, 9 Gold Coast News. The highly